watch the movie called uh, The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry. So this is a 2023 movie, a British film, uh, starring uh, Jim Broadbent and uh, Penelope Will. And uh, those two actors are, are fantastic in this particular uh, film uh, regarding the, uh, this guy uh, played by uh, Jim Broadbent is uh, I don't know he received some letter uh, you know they are kind of uh, living in a, a Devon which is like a southwest side of the Ingl England and uh, they're kind of uh, living peacefully although they have like a you know tremendous past uh, in their history I would say uh, but he received one day this particular letter uh, this particular letter say well I am so and such and such and uh, I am in the hospice in uh, this particular place which is uh, like a northern part of the England and uh, you know border of the Scotland and England uh, north east side and uh, so wow you know I had to respond to this letter to this person so he kind of uh, uh, writes uh, something about uh, you know kind of a con con you know, uh, consoling uh, letter I would say but he couldn't post that particular letter and uh, evidently this person is something very very uh, important for him and as you see the movie uh, why he, he you know this particular person is so important is kind of revealed little by little I would say uh, but anyway so he meets this girl at, uh, at uh, uh, some convenience store or something and uh, she said you know something like uh, well if you uh, have a uh, this particular person's, uh, uh, you know, like a, a message saying that uh, uh, this person uh, had a cancer and uh, died, you know, and she, uh, I had uh, this grandmother or something, and uh, if you tell her that uh, if you come to meet you, but you know, not quickly, but uh, it takes like a couple of months. To get there because I'm walking from uh, South England to the uh, uh, you know North England you know it takes like a, more than one month and uh, so uh, in that way uh, you know this particular person has a hope and uh, she would live until then so that's exactly what he decided to do to walk and initially, the, his wife, uh, Penelope Wilton, uh, was kind of amazed that the sh he decided to walk there. Of course, she would, wouldn't go with him, even though he asked her to go with him. But uh, no. And uh, so that's the beginning of the movie, and the rest of it uh, is like a trip for him to walk from southwest side of the uh, uh, England to the north uh, east side of England and so along the way he meets people and uh, you know have a, some uh, exchange of the friendly relationship or, or something like that um, But uh, uh, this particular unlikely uh, scenario is that uh, uh, you know Jim Broadman is maybe about uh, uh, probably late 60s already, a uh, retired person, and uh, uh, well, early 70s even. But he just decided to go without any like a backpack or any food or any clothes or anything 
he just started to walk and uh, so that's the most unlikely part you know that it shows that uh, he has the shoes which is uh, like regular street shoes uh, leather sh street shoes which is not holding you know for the long distance uh, walking so that's one of the unlikely things and uh, but when he sleeps <laughs> in the, uh, the field or under the trees or something like that he has all of a sudden this um, uh, sleeping bag appears and uh, also uh, people along the way uh, uh, get very very sympathetic about his uh, vision and uh, they will give you some like a backpack or some food or something and evidently he has the money and uh, uh, he could get by but uh, he in the movie he didn't look good i mean as far as walking the long distance and uh, you know usually if you walk that long distance you have a very big backpack which has a you know uh, sleeping bag and uh, uh, you know some kind of a clothing clothes uh, items and some food items to to pack but he didn't have any of those of course England is more or less like a not uh, like a wild areas or anything so there is a you know like a supermarket along the way and streets along the way uh, but uh, I was amazed this particular movie depicts that he he walks with that kind of attire in a, um, you know, even though the, at that time probably England uh, weather is not that bad, but he sleeps outside. <laughs> so I was amazed, but this particular movie is, the focus is not there. Focus is how he could walk for that long distance focus is that, that there his uh, driven ambitions to to go there to see this person and uh, you know midway of the film you know what is this person the female person uh, is that uh, when they are younger they are this uh, Penelope Wilton uh, had uh, this um, son, young son, like a you know teenage, uh, but the, this son has a uh, lot of psychological problems and, uh, because of the particular problem, and I think uh, he blames he doesn't uh, get along with uh, Harold Fry, I have to say, and uh, uh, so Harold has a tremendous this guilt about uh, you know his treatment of this uh, son teenage son uh, he didn't treat him well so you know essentially he loses him and uh, so he that's one of the that uh, the, you know, that's post-traumatic uh, incidents there and uh, why Penelope uh, Wilton is kind of blaming him because uh, he wasn't nice to, to the boy and uh, so that's going on and uh, so he had this uh, tremendous urge to see this woman uh, this woman actually helped him while uh, this couple had a difficulty dealing after you know uh, sudden well you know this is like a uh, incidence I would say uh, they are helping and uh, the also wife, wife and the husband the relationship uh, getting sour and so he was kind of a 
escape to this place and meet this woman who helped him to deal with this particular problem. I don't think it's not a romantic relationship or anything, uh, but uh, he really uh, felt he was saved uh, by this woman. And uh, so that's the background there why he has to go to visit her. And, uh, uh, it takes so long to get there uh, so that uh, she could live uh, longer. You know, she was in a hospice, that means you know, her health is deteriorating. And, uh, uh, no, but uh, uh, he decided to do that. So that's whole movie about that. And uh, uh, what I notice is most interesting about this movie is that uh, tremendous uh, this acting chops by those two characters uh, displayed in the film all through. Not only husbands. Uh, acting but wife uh, Penelope Wilton's acting was fantastic you know Penelope Wilton I see her more or less like a kind of a, a very fast talking and uh, you know kind of uh, uh, you know give you some kind of a uh, because of she she's so quick and fast uh, give you some kind of a cold uh, you know, demeanor or something, and uh, but uh, she was excellent in this one. I loved her in this movie, and uh, uh, Jim Broadman, Broadman character also a very um, kind of a complex. Uh, he's uh, dealing with this particular trip. It was a kind of a com complex. I think he's you know, for one thing he. I take it so lightly and uh, you know because of the uh, you know his age and uh, because of the his preparation for the trip uh, he should be worrying about what's gonna happen you know now and tomorrow but there's none of those but he kind of trusted what his uh, urge to visit this particular woman and uh, so the watching them acting, I have a tremendous pleasure uh, just to watch them acting. And uh, that's what I call the great actor's film. This particular movie was very, very engaging and uh, very enjoyable to watch. Uh, even though uh, they are, you know, like a 60 or 70 years old, uh, getting old, cranky, but in a way uh, they are more or less like, uh, yeah, it's a very, very uh, fun to watch them uh, behaving this way or that way. And so, yeah, I thought this one is very, very uh, recommended uh, by me to you, especially if you are the great actors uh, movie fan and uh, uh, you know yeah I think I really did really enjoy that for that purpose uh, only not only that but uh, you know storyline storyline was uh, more or less like a sketchy probably because just like I said it's it's uh, it's you know, like a very unlikely that particular trip happened. You know, this is based on the uh, the book, I think published like 2012 or something like that. Uh, but uh, it's very, very uh, unlikely pilgrimage, I would say, uh, uh, the way they did it. And I remember that there's another movie that a while ago, a couple of years ago, I watched. Uh, featuring the Tim Spore. Tim Spore also movie and I forgot the particular name of it. But uh, uh, he, after his wife passed away, he was driven to visit 
this particular one place uh, that he remembers and he started to walk and so forth that the structure of the movie is very very similar to the uh, movie I guess uh, because I kind of noticed that some of the storyline is almost like identical and so uh, yeah I noticed that and uh, that's a kind of a you know, I don't know the, not the typical but um, to some of the people who uh, create that kind of a movie has the same intention to evoke this human emotions and so yeah uh, I think that's kind of interesting and uh, so yeah I would uh, recommend 100% uh, the name of the movie is The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry featuring Penelope Burton and uh, Jim Gordon.